It has been more than a year now since rap artist Tupac Shakur was done, gunned down in Las Vegas. The violent end to his life sounded familiar to a whole lot of people. It seemed like it came right out of his music. Although he was just 25 years old, his life is now the subject of a college course. A 20-year-old student named Arvon Ilahu proposed the class to the University of California Berkeley's History Department and is now teaching it as part of a student-led program the university sponsors. Write your notes down, write your thoughts down as we go through, please. The class is basically about the poetry of Tupac Shakur as well as Tupac Shakur as a historian. We, we study the lyrics and see how the lyrics match his life and how what he experienced in life he expressed through his poetry. Tupac cares if don't nobody else care. Get a comment? Oh yeah, he just, like I think he realizes that, you know, women have made so many sacrifices for him and then, you know, everybody else and then he just, that's his way to pay his, his respect to them. I feel like Tupac Shakur was very talented in making the reader feel his emotion. I try not to judge him, I just try to see what he did and see the life that he lived and learn from it and, and analyze it and um, take it to an academic level. What's he trying to do in this song? What's his main purpose in this song? Everything that went on in his community, it affected him, his mom, his sister, whoever, whoever was in that community. I think this class is for everybody who wants to be a little bit more open-minded about politics and society in uh, contemporary times. I feel that Tupac Shakur is analogous to Bob Dylan in that he represents a society of people at our time and he is representing them. I was raised by a single mom and a lot of what he says in Dear Mama comes true for my family. There's no way I can pay you back. But the plan is to show you that I understand. You all appreciate it. For me, it helps me to understand my brother's violent death and to do something a little more positive with it than to just say, oh, well, it was a random killing. I have many, many colleagues who surely have never heard Tupac. I had never heard much Tupac either until, until Arvon introduced me to him, and I, I have become a sort of fan. <laughs> when I say I'm living large, all you see is the struggle. When I say I'm still dugging, all you see is the trouble. From Tupac Shakur, I felt I understood from inside, which is what historians like to do, an inside part of African-American life, which had to do with parents and children, drugs and non-drugs, sympathetically, but frighteningly exposed in a way that I had never seen and felt before. I remember thinking to myself, Tupac Shakur needs to be in prison. What kind of guy is this? He stands for nothing that I believe in. I hadn't done my own research. I was closed-minded. I wouldn't even consider listening to his CDs. I think Tupac Shakur is definitely misunderstood. But at the same time, I think he had trouble finding himself as an artist. I think he was torn. I think he was confused. When damn things change, but you don't look the same, let the ghetto get the best for your baby. That's a shame called HIV. And now you're about to be deceased. If only be at peace. So what do you guys think? He says that not all women are pure and innocent, and that's like all he's trying to say. Those women who are treated with respect, respect themselves. Live my life, watch the time fly, to live and die in LA. I think he's one of those artists who society in the future looks back upon and realizes their importance and realizes how gifted they were, how talented they were, and how they were taking a history at the time. That was Arvon Elihu, a 20-year-old UC Berkeley college student who is teaching a pass-fail course on the late Tupac Shakur. A new movie starring the late rap star opens this weekend. It is called Gang Related, and his performance as a rogue cop is getting mostly good reviews. When we come back...